What's going on everyone, my name is Tom from Dread Labs and today I'm going to show you how to import Photoshop actions. Dread Labs. Uh, so if you don't know what Photoshop actions are, let me just demonstrate one real quick. Basically these are recorded actions that you can do in Photoshop yourself to make your process a little bit quicker. By just pressing on this play button, I did all of these actions just in one click instead of having to do them all myself and having to change everything manually. Basically, Photoshop Actions make your workflow go a little bit smooth. So the way you can access Photoshop Actions are, is through Window and Actions. And I have Windows set up here. And probably if you never worked with Photoshop Actions, you only have these two here. Maybe even just this one. And that's okay. Let me just delete this one real quick and I'm just going to show you how to install this one. So if you don't know, there's a couple of Photoshop actions that you can get on my website. I have one pack that I released when I got 10k subscribers and it contains 5 actions. And you can get that for free on dreadlabs.net. Uh, but today I'm going to show you how to install a different pack that I just released in my web store. And I'm going to showcase it as well in this video. So if you go to this little hamburger menu. And you go to load actions. If you download the Photoshop action pack, there's always a .adn file. And let me just go to my desktop because that's where it is. Uh, this is basically the file that you will get if you download a Photoshop action uh, pack anywhere on the internet. Uh, you're just going to click this and open it. And as simple as that, this Photoshop action pack is now already here. Uh, so basically, I'm just going to go through all of these and show you what they do. Um, so let me just make a black background and we'll get some text in here. Right, so we're just going to start with the bitmap chrome effect. And as you can see, most of these actions are quite long. So I'm not going to go through how I made them. I'm just going to run them and show you what they do. Uh, so this one was pretty quickly. Basically, this makes a chrome effect and converts it into a bitmap and then converts it back to you. Basically, this gives us like a cool bitmap effect uh, as well as a chrome effect in one. All right, so we'll leave that and we'll add another piece of text. Uh, so the next one is a soft mono emboss and I'm just going to show you what it does because it's hard to explain. Uh, basically, this makes your text 3D and very, very noisy. And the cool thing about this action is if you want to edit the text later, you can just double click on this thumbnail here and it'll open a PSB file. And then you have to open this PSB file. And here you can just edit your text. And we'll save this up. We'll click away. We'll save this up again. And we'll click away again. And as easy as that, your text has been changed now. Uh, so for the next one, uh, this will give a liquefied distortion effect. Let's run it. As you can see, this makes your stuff a little bit more unreadable, but um, it might be cool on like photos or graphics or whatever. If you want to change things up, uh, you can just change the gradient map here and see if you want to use another color. For example, maybe like something more along the purple lines. Uh, yeah, this is all up to you. Uh, and I basically try to make these uh, Photoshop actions as customizable as possible. Right, let's move on to the next one. All right, so the next one is the Y2K Chrome effect. And this is personally one of my favorites. Uh, yeah, this gives off a really nice glossy effect as well as a really nice well y2k color effect and what i personally like about this one is that the colors are very smooth in my opinion uh, but if you want to change this up you can just use a u saturation clip it onto the group here and experiment uh, until you have something that you like oh this is pretty cool too but yeah that's the uh, y2k chrome effect for you all right so the next one is the oil chrome effect and i will just run it and show it to you Basically what this effect does is it runs uh, a whole bunch of different uh, inner glows and bevel and embosses over your uh, text. Uh, gives an oil paint filter and gives you like that oily kind of look. Uh, and again, you can also just adjust this with a U saturation to see if there's any colors that you like better than the original result. Pretty self-explanatory, so let's move on to the next one. Alright, so the next one is the Monocolor Chrome. And I'll just run this real quick. Uh, and as you can see, uh, be careful with this effect because this will delete everything in your layer. And that's because this effect uses the bitmap conversion. Anyways, uh, so fairly easy as well. You can just change the color here. If you want to have a white or maybe like uh, maybe a cyan color or whatever. Yeah, pretty self-explanatory. It looks a little bit like the bitmap chrome, uh, but this one is a little bit more chrome based. All right, let's do one more. And the next one is the duotone chrome. And as you probably would have guessed, this is a chrome effect where you can use two different colors and decide on which one with a gradient map. So I'll make it this one purple and maybe this one like uh, yeah, yellowish. A little bit look, looks a little bit like the Dreadlabs colors, but also it's a little bit different, I guess. Um, but yeah, also pretty self-explanatory. Just change the colors in here to your liking and see what you can come up with. Uh, and the fun part about this one actually is that you can change the text as you go. Uh, so the next two are actually uh, overlay generators instead of like a, a text effect. Um, and these give off static noise textures. 
Uh, so let me just run them real quick and show you what I mean. This is the first one with a static noise. And I'll, let me just run the other one real quick in a different layer. Uh, so yeah, you can pretty much use these as overlays or maybe as displacement maps or whatever. Fairly easy to use, pretty self-explanatory. And I highly recommend you to just use these and see what you can come up with. And the last effect is a liquid RGB. And let me just run it so I can show it to you. This one takes a while because it uses a lot of liquify filters. Uh, so what this effect does is it distorts the edge a little bit and it gives off like uh, different color uh, channels. Uh, so if you want to have this effect a little bit more drastic, I recommend you to use smaller text like this, for example. So the effect looks a little bit dress more drastic now. So if you want to just scale this up, you can just merge the group and scale this up. So yeah, guys, these are all of the uh, Photoshop actions that are in the pack. If you want to get it for yourself, there will be a link in the description. So I just wanted to give a quick shout out to all of my patrons. So if you don't know, if you become a patron of mine, you'll get access to all of the project files from my tutorials, including this one, as well as a 15% discount to the Dreadlabs web store and a Discord role and an exclusive Patreon Discord channel. So with that being said, I want to thank you for watching. This was Tom from Dreadlabs tuning off, and I'll see you in the next video.